Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the Wyndham Orlando Resort and Conference Center. Today we're in room 135. This is a king room here at this resort and I wanna give you a look. Of course, we're gonna go through the entire room with a fine tooth comb, take a look at it today and we will review here in a little bit. So make sure that you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that. Anyway, let's turn you around and take a look at this room. So as we step into this room, we start off in this little entryway and there's a lot happening in this entryway. So we have the bathroom over here to the right, but we're going to start on the left. So there is a closet here with some hangers as well as an ironing board, a luggage rack, plenty of space to kind of tuck a few things away. And then over here, we do have the iron as well as a coffee maker. We have some coffee here, both regular and decaf. Also have some tea, some cups, and down here we have some bottled water as well as an ice bucket and cups, which look a little rough. I don't know if the water is included. We also have a safe down here. Now we've done videos on how to work these saves in the past. If you wanna go ahead and check the description box, you can find the link. Basically, you're gonna follow the instructions right there on the front of the safe. They're really easy to use. It's a good way to store your belongings. And this one is rather large. So lots of space in there for all of your valuables. So if we turn this way, we have the bathroom. It's kind of small, but spacious at the same time. So we have a very bright mirror right here. We have our vanity and sink. We do have some amenities as well. Towels and some storage. It looks like we do have a hair dryer down there too. And there's not much storage on this side underneath the sink, but you could tuck a few things over there. There is our toilet. Now normally I would talk about how much space there is between the toilet and the door, but this is actually a pocket door. So there is plenty of space between the toilet and the door. You don't have to worry about, you know, having to maneuver your way around the bathroom, which happens sometimes in smaller rooms. Then we have our shower, and I think we're actually going to run into a problem with this that we don't have to deal with with the door. So. If we try and open this door, coming very close to the toilet, but fortunately there's enough room elsewhere in the bathroom to kind of move around, so that's nice. Have a nice shower head, little basket for your necessities, and it's basically all there is when it comes to that shower. Not much to say. Looks like it's gonna get the job done. And of course we have a towel rack right there. A Little bit of artwork. I don't see a fan. There's no button to turn on like an exhaust fan. And I feel like that's gonna make it really hot in this bathroom. Let's move out into the actual room itself. There is a mirror on this door, by the way full length mirror, but there's not a lot of light right here. So you can't, like you can't really get yourself ready very well. That is a light that you can turn on and off. Um, does absolutely nothing. So let's take a look at this actual room. Now it is big in here. There's a lot of space. So if we kind of take a sweep around the room, it looks like there are two places where these rooms can connect. So there's a door right here that I would assume can open up so you can adjoin rooms over there. There's also one on this side as well. So that's an interesting feature. If you're staying here with a bigger family, you want to connect to rooms, I'm sure that that option is available. There's also plenty of room here on the floor to put strollers, ECVs, and what have you, although there are no plugs in this area. So Nowhere to charge on this side or on this side. So anyway, we're starting off over here. We do have our controls for the thermostat. Let's actually see 
what that looks like. It doesn't. Okay, so that doesn't work. So we will see if there's another way to control temperature, probably over there on the air conditioning unit, but we'll get there. So we do have a television here. We do have a dresser where you can put your things. Nice wide drawers. There's only three. I don't see you needing many more in this room because this is just a king so really no more than two people in here and then we do have a refrigerator which is nice let's take a look it's rather small but it will definitely get the job done it's not really cold in here right now but it's definitely working then there's a little bit of space up here too if we turn this way we have the king size bed which doesn't have any special linens or anything on it, just plain white as we see more and more at different hotels around Walt Disney World and elsewhere. And we do have two nightstands on either side of the bed. Now you can clearly see that there's plenty of space on either side of the bed for each occupant to get up. No problem when it comes to space in this room. We have a nightstand over here with a clock a drawer and there is space under the drawer to tuck some things away is there space under the bed no so that is a platform bed we do have multiple outlets here and of course a light which can be turned on and off with this switch on the other side of the bed same setup but without the clock radio instead we have the phone so we don't have as much charging on this side, although we do have two outlets. Same thing with the drawer. And space underneath. Then of course, the light. Now if we swing this way, you'll see some of the artwork on the wall, lots of beiges in this room. And that's where we'll find our air conditioning unit. Now this is a wall unit, as you can see, and it says right here that this air conditioner is controlled by a wall thermostat, not by this. But this is working and that one most definitely is not. So that's something worth noting. Of course we're gonna do a review later, but I always like to keep an eye out for stuff like this because this is the little type of confusion that can make a trip a little bit more stressful, unnecessarily stressful. So just something to note. Above the air conditioner, you can see we don't have any version of a view in this room, but that's all right. We do have some big windows here so we can let in some natural light, but we're not, we're not seeing much of anything. And then here we have a desk, which is great because this is a conference center. So maybe you're doing some work. We have a light and then of course a little desk lamp as well. We have two charging ports on this desk lamp. There are some outlets over there, but not much to say about this little desk. We do have a chair here as well. And then over here, we have our trash and recycling. So that's about it for this resort and conference center. Again, this was room 135. Just a quick overview, give you an idea of what to expect from one of these rooms. Again, this is a king room. I'll have more information in the description down below, so be sure to check that out. And of course, we'll be doing a review of this here on the channel as well. So subscribe so that you don't miss it. And let us know, what do you think of this room? What do you like about it? What don't you like? Tell us all about it in a comment. But that's all for now. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.